I spoke with the owner of the daycare this morning and she told me she's concerned for the safety of her children after she reached out to the Hickory Animal Control and they told her they could do nothing about the raccoons in the area. I thought I would get the response that they will come set out traps. Instead, they told us it's basically the wildlife um, issue not there. I feel for the taxpayers that's paying in Catawba County, they should be able to set up traps to help prevent this issue before it comes more of a nuisance than what it already is. There are several daycares in the neighborhood near Kiwanis Park in Hickory, and all of them have been having the same issue along with other residents who have been dealing with the raccoons. Within the recent weeks, it has really gotten harder to deal with the raccoons that's taking over our neighborhood from trying to charge at us, taking our tra knocking our trash cans over, getting in our trash, also making it hard for our businesses in this local area. We have, um, as you see, put bricks on. We pour Clorox in our trash. We don't went to Home Depot and bought the rodent stuff to put down in your yards. That's still not working and that gets very expensive if you're doing this on a daily basis. I reached out to the city telling them about the issue to see what could be done and the response was unfortunately the same. I mean it's wildlife so they, you know, they won't do much about it unless it's rabid raccoon. Okay. So, um, I can give you the number to wildlife if you want that. They dispatch all over North Carolina. And so we don't contact a specifically animal control in Hickory, we just contact wildlife? Yeah, we just do domestic. And so there's nothing that animal control can do? After being referred to the North Carolina Wildlife Association, I called to see what that organization could possibly do. Thank you for calling the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission's Wildlife Helpline. For more information about foxes, press 1. For raccoons, press 2. For COVID, did you know healthy raccoons may be seen out during the day? Sightings increase in spring when young are born and food demand is high. Capture and relocation is not an option. A recording stating only what can be done to possibly prevent the raccoons from coming in the area, but no specific actions could be taken by wildlife either to get rid of the animals. The question that I have for the city of Hickory, y'all can come out and set up traps for kittens and cats and strays, but not for raccoons, which in my opinion is more of a threat than kittens. I'm more of afraid of kids with school being out getting bitten or the elderly people getting bitten just trying to get to your car to your home. Definitely a cause for concern, especially with children around. But as you just heard, there is nothing that the city of Hickory Animal Control can do. And also, if you do reach out to the North Carolina Wildlife Association, they also cannot send someone personally out to capture the raccoon. But there are tips on how you can prevent animals like the raccoons from coming in your yard. For now, that's the latest. I'm Fentress Fountain, WHKY News.